All right, welcome to the LCS recap for weeks five and six. I missed last week, so we're gonna double up the episode today and get it all through. We're gonna start off with our standings, see how everything shakes up since the last time we talked, and then go into my tier list, which has a bit of a spicy update to it, and I have a little bit of a reason to why there, it's updated that way, but it might surprise you a little bit, as well as at the end, we'll talk about my picks for next week. So enough delay, let's get on with the episode. All right, so Team Liquid still on top. They're 11 and 1. They won a bunch of games, but really they beat on the bottom of the league. They beat Echo Fox, they beat 100 Thieves, they beat Optic, and they beat Counter Logic Gaming. So good for them. They sit 11 and 1. Cloud9, I think, have a really impressive 4 0 for themselves in the past couple of weeks. They're now sit at 10 and 2, but they beat really good teams. They beat FlyQuest, they beat CLG, they beat Golden Guardians, and they beat Team Solo Mid. So impressive couple of weeks for Cloud9. Meanwhile, Team Solo Mid now sit in their lone third place spot at a 7-5 record. They went 3-1 winning against CLG, FlyQuest, Echo Fox, but of course losing to Cloud9. Then we have this big bunch of teams all in the fourth place spot. Basically three of them are going to be playoff teams most likely and one of them might be missing out. But those teams are FlyQuest, CounterLogic Gaming, Golden Guardians, and Opti Gaming. They now sit with 5-7 records. First FlyQuest, they lost all their games to get here, so this is a team that we were talking about being a top 3 team, but they did play Cloud9 and TSM, so you almost forgive those losses, but you almost don't forgive losing a CLG and Optic. If they at least won one of those, they'd be sitting in 4th place by themselves, so that is kind of rough. Counter Logic Gaming, we, meanwhile, they only won the one game that is against FlyQuest. They did lose to Team Solo Mid and Cloud9, again, a little bit forgivable, and they also lost a TL, so they, they, got, they went through their gauntlet of all the top teams, <laughs> and they managed to beat FlyQuest. In fact, all the top four teams, and they managed to beat FlyQuest, so that kind of sets them a little bit pretty compared to a lot of other teams. Even though it's a one in three record, it was a rough team they had to play against. The rest of the schedule looks pretty easy for them. Golden Guardians, they split their games. They won against Echo Fox and 100 Thieves, but they did lose against Cloud9, and they lost against Clutch Gaming. That loss is pretty important, to be honest. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Where Optic Gaming, they rose to get here. They win against 100 Thieves, Clutch Gaming, and FlyQuest, only losing to Team Liquid. So that's actually pretty significant for them. Yeah, they lose to Team Liquid. Everyone's losing to Team Liquid. But they beat a lot of teams, and a lot of teams that were above them in the standings. So it looks good for them now. Now our bottom barrel teams are 4 and 8 teams are 100 Thieves, Echo Fox, and Clutch Gaming. 100 Thieves only win against Clutch Gaming in a game they didn't deserve to win. It was a Cloud Fiesta, Clutch Gaming kind of gave that one up to them, and they end up with 1-3 in the past couple of weeks, but really, could have been 0-4 really easily. Meanwhile, Echo Fox, they lost all of their games, losing Team Liquid and Team Solo Mid and Golden Guardians as well as Clutch Gaming. I said that kind of out of order, but yeah, they don't look super hot. They lost against top teams, but they weren't able to beat the other team that maybe they should have beaten those weeks, and looking rough times for Echo Fox fans. Well, meanwhile, Clutch Gaming, they actually split all their games. They win against Golden Guardians, lose to Optic Gaming, lose to 100 Thieves, but win against Echo Fox. So they sit at four and eight, which is good enough to be in last place. <laughs> but they can improve from there. So we'll see where we kind of shake that up. But that brings us to our tier list. And here's the update that might surprise a lot of people. I have CLG moving up a lot of spots into the middle tier. I have FlyQuest still sitting in there. I have Optic Gaming improving to it, and I actually have Golden Guardians out of it. So there's it, it, kind of a lot of craziness. We'll talk about it in a second and why I think this is the way it is. I'm basically listing this now as my top teams, the one and two, uh, my playoff teams, three, four, five, and six, and then everyone else down there in the bottom. So. TL and Cloud9, it's really hard to argue against them. They have the best records. They go up against each other next week, so that's super exciting. Definitely looking forward to seeing who's going to end up on top of that one. Team Solo Mid kind of, you know, they finish there, there at 7-5. They're, they're by themselves in third place, so they get the top of the middle tier. While CLG, like FlyQuest, Optic Gaming, and Golden Guardians all sit with that same record. And the team I had to move into the bottom tier is Golden Guardians because of strength of remaining schedule. And we're going to quickly peep over here to why I think they have the hardest schedule coming up. Now, how I kind of project this out here is if they were playing against a team 
with one of the other 5 and 7 teams, I gave them half a win. If they're playing against a team above them, I considered probably a loss. And if they're playing against a team below them, I considered it probably a win. So that's how I kind of came up with these projections here. CLG, they get 4.0 projected wins with their remaining schedule. They only play against the top team once in Team Solo Mid. The rest of their games are either against teams below them or uh, within the same standings of them. So they have a bit of an easier schedule for the rest of it. They just got to beat teams that are around their level. Meanwhile, FlyQuest, they do have to play Team Liquid and Cloud9 a couple times, so that hurts them a little bit here. But basically past that, they are just playing against a bunch of low-tier teams coming up. They play against Clutch Gaming, Echo Fox, and 100 Thieves, and they should win their next three games. That's kind of what I'm predicting in a FlyQuest, FlyQuest, <laughs> FlyQuest, and then they should be fine. And then if you basically consider them losing, even if they lose to Team Liquid and they lose to Cloud9, they have a very good game against the Golden Guardians to end the season, which might be a game that decides if they're in the playoffs or not. So that's really exciting. Meanwhile, Optic Gaming, yeah, they had a good good week, but they still have to play against Cloud9 and TSM as well. And then the rest of their games, they only really face a couple bottom tier teams at Echo Fox and 100 Thieves. They do have to win against Golden Guardians and CLG to kind of make it. So if they get half half a win for each of those, so if they win at least one of those games, I project them at three wins. Meanwhile, Golden Guardians have the toughest schedule. They have to play Team Liquid and Team Solo Mid, and then the rest of their games are basically against other teams in that 5-7 record, with the exception of having to face off against Clutch Gaming. So if they split those games with them, it's not going to be good enough. So that, again, really lines up that FlyQuest versus Golden Guardians last game of the season for those two teams as a really potentially important game. That might just flip the script and put them there, but... With their strength schedule, I have them projected at two and a half wins, which puts them below the rest of them. So that's why they're actually in the bottom tier of my tier list. Everyone else had to go through a lot of rough games, including CLG. They had to play against really rough teams. Now it's time. Now it's proving time for all of these teams to really separate them. But as of right now, I have them out of it. And then speaking of the rest of the bottom tier now, Clutch Gaming, you've had a good week. You, if they did go three and one, they might be in that middle tier. You know what I mean? They might actually be up there, and we're 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 talking about five teams looking at potentially being in the playoffs again. A couple of those teams, do, teams do play against Clutch Gaming, and that could just mean wins for them. But um, or it could be wins that Clutch Gaming takes away. It's 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 tough to say. But we'll we'll see as the games go on. Hundred Thieves just keep keep dropping. They should have been 0-4. If they were 0-4, they'd be in the basement, but they, because they picked up one win, I keep them a little bit away from the basement as, again, in the past couple weeks, Echo Fox lost all their games. So that's that for our, my tier list. Let's look onto my picks for week seven. So game number one, we have that CLG versus Golden Guardians. This game is incredibly important. Again, if you look at my remaining schedule, strength of schedule, this could really flip it. I could be talking about Golden Guardians being in my next tier list, back in the middle tier, and CLG being out of it based on this game alone. So CLG, I feel like are gonna win this game. I've, I I know they've only won one, one game recently, but I think they have the ability to pull this one out and really prove that they're a really strong team. Golden Guardians, with their play, actually has me a little bit worried. We'll see. Uh, Golden Guardians, CLG, this is such a tough game to pick. I'm going to give that to CLG. But the next game after that is Team Liquid versus Cloud9. I have Cloud9 to win that. So I'm basically kind of picking two upsets in a row, if you really think about it that way, in terms of like fan favorites and who people think are going to win. Team, Li I know I said I just wouldn't bet against Team Liquid. If you've been watching the show, all I've said is don't bet against Tape Liquid. I think Cloud9's look better. Again, sure, both teams... Four, four wins in the past couple weeks. I think Cloud9's wins looked impressive. I think Cloud9 looks a little bit better. So excited for them to play each other. I wish it was a best of three, but we'll wait for the playoffs for that. Meanwhile, I have Team Solo Mid beating 100 Thieves. I have FlyQuest beating Clutch Gaming, and I have Optic beating Echo Fox to round out the rest of day one. If you look at day two, I do have Team Liquid beating Golden Guardians. So that sets up Golden Guardians to have an 0-2 week for me. Sorry, Golden Guardians. I like you so much. I like you, Hanser. I like you, Froggin. I like this tea. But I have them out of it. Meanwhile, I have FlyQuest me beating Echo Fox. Team Solo Mid winning there. Cloud9 beating 100 Thieves. And then Counter Logic Gaming to win up against Clutch. And that's it. That's my picks for next week. I went 4-1 uh, two days ago. And then 3-2 and two the day before. 
And I can't remember exactly how I went in Awakened 5, but I, I'm now finishing at 37-23 record, which is pretty decent. I'm hoping to prove that. Hoping for another couple 4-1 days to get me there. So we'll see if I do. And that is it for the LCS recap. Sorry again for missing last week, but hopefully I made up for this week by my spicy tier list. Do you think I'm insane for putting CLG that high? You just might. Do you think I'm insane for leaving Golden Guardians out of the middle tier? Let me know in the comments below. You can also like this video. Check out the last one right there. You can also follow me on different social media stuff or subscribe to the channel. That is it for this week. We'll be back next week. I'm just looking forward to this week of LCS. I think so many questions are going to be answered in this coming week of LCS on who's better and all that. Is my tier list going to be right or am I going to suddenly flip everything out after next week? I'm hoping I don't. I'm hoping what I list my tier list, I'm actually hoping it just stays the same for the rest of it. At least the tiers. I don't want to move people out of tiers anymore, but we'll see if I'm wrong or right after next week. See you next time.